Dimelo, Dimelo, Bo, Dominican, York. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? You can tell by the box. I've got a pair of Eastside Golfs ready to unbox right now. I haven't looked at these yet, except for online uh, pictures, YouTube videos. Uh, this is definitely, to me, a good-looking shoe. I originally thought it was an OG. Uh, and apparently it's not. It is a new style Jordan 1 Low. And I'm totally cool with that. Totally cool with that. Anyway, as you can see, I'm a little salty that uh, I have not hit at all in the last two weeks for any uh, Jordan 1s, Jordan 4s, or Jordan 5s. Your Uncle Bo's a little salty. That's all right, man. I'm getting over it. I'm getting over it. Uh, you know, it's a shoe, man. It's a freaking shoe. Look at that. Look at that. These came individually wrapped. I'm going to put this box down. So how are you guys doing? Look, these came individually wrapped. Uh, and I'll show you the, the box later. Mucha bulla, coño. All right, so I'm going to have a little bit of a cramped space today because I'm just showing my ass of a little bit how salty I am that I didn't, I didn't really go for the Khaled's. I mean, I think they're going to drop still, but I mean, I did go for the shock drop, didn't get them. Went for these, did my video submission, didn't get them. Uh, these, I honestly backed out of a couple, of, I, I backed out of the FLX. Uh, shipped to me and I shouldn't have because I've been hitting up uh, I've been hitting shipped to me clutch with almost everything uh, finish line everywhere nothing nothing local anyway I shouldn't have I should have kept my ship to me's on but uh if you don't know this week uh hopefully today I will be having my buddy Gunner uh, a 13 year old cockapoo come back home today from back surgery he had neurosurgery about five days ago he's been in recovery at the hospital in durham north carolina and hopefully today we get to take him home go pick him up uh we wanted to yesterday but he hasn't been eating as much and drinking a lot of water and not holding the water down so he was regurgitating the water a lot yesterday i guess and instead of having to go back and forth we decided and agreed with them let's keep him one more day hopefully we uh, get the vomiting under control, get him hopefully eating a little bit more. And hopefully when he's home today, God willing, he comes home, uh, he will eat a lot better as well. But tell me what you guys think. This is the Eastside Golf Jordan 1 Low. This is a streetwear version. It is not a golf version. You'll see by the outsole. And we'll start there. Going to the outsole toe box area, you'll see the uh, stars like we see on all Jordan 1s, standard Jordan 1 outsole, but this one, uh, translucent clay color and un underneath or through that rubber outsole, we can see the word clay written. Looks amazing. Nike branding uh, with a sail midsole. Beautiful, beautiful combo of colors then we go to this uh blue suede or nubuck toe strap toe box overlays eye stays nike swoosh what looks like eh, they're still blue dark blue waxed laces on the tongue interesting we've got a uh, air jordan wings logo with the East Side Golf branding written underneath. Let's get that in so Jumpman and die cut sock liner. But on the back of the tongue, which is what we were going for, uh, writing is so clear, made in China. This is a good 
looking shoe. Spare set of laces in the clay color with the gold aglets. And let's see what those aglets say. They have the jump man on that one. And, and the jump man on that one as well. These are pretty, pretty nice. Uh, is this something that you guys would go for? I don't know that a lot of people actually went for these. Um, you don't see a lot of videos or hype about them. Look at that. Two different insoles. One with the green turf. One with the red clay. Bought these in a size 9. Uh, let's go see what the production date says on the size tag. Again, bought these in a size 9, UK 8, and production ran from January 22 to June 22. Made in China. Good looking shoe. Kind of a, a cotton satiny liner. Nylon. Not satiny, but nylon. -y. I think this is a great freaking shoe, guys. Um, I don't know that a lot of people went for it, though. Really don't know that a lot of people went for these. You might be able to wear these to work. They almost look like the uh, work shoes that a lot of folks are wearing in the car business. Except for that, of course. That glows. Great quality construction on these. And of course, we expect that out of China. Uh, pretty sure that's where most of the factories are. Um, you don't always expect it as much when they come from Vietnam or Indonesia. Not to say that they don't produce great shoes. Just uh, sometimes I think those are the overflows or secondary production markets for them. I, I feel from everything that I'm learning. So I am still learning hope you guys are having a great start to the week um i myself am hopeful that my uh my boy gunner is gonna pull through uh he lost the use of his legs last week all of a sudden all of a sudden so uh it ended up being that they said 90 percent uh recovery if we do the surgery and we went for it uh, very very expensive surgery uh, I mean, not compared to human cost for surgeries, but still a very, very expensive surgery. Uh, four zeros. But uh, let's take a look at the box, which is kind of uh, beautiful. It did come in a sleeve. We know that because I know you guys have seen reviews already. Uh, you see the gentleman uh, taking a swing wearing the Jordan 4 golf uh, let's go to the size tag air jordan one low sp midnight navy midnight navy made in china of course in my size nine or D and all that branding on the side of the box and here's that clay paper that's on the outside and then they come wrapped uh and some standard tissue individually. And then you see that the entire guts of the box is turf. And then you do have your green and white sticker. I don't know that we can see the detailing on it, but guys, you know that there should be ridging and there should be some depth to the sticker. Sorry, camera's all over the place, isn't it? Wow, it feels weird sometimes coming back after freaking however long. But yo, these shoes are probably, right, some of the best of the year. Uh, just finished watching a review that said they didn't really think this was the Jordan 4 of the year. I might agree. Uh, I know that the, um, I don't know. It's an argument to see what is the Jordan 4 of the year. But uh, this could possibly be the Jordan 1 of the year. I think it is. It might be the uh, the yellow toe for some. 
Then, of course, uh, the Jordan 5 of the year. It's got to be this. I don't know that there's another Jordan 5 that even dropped that's close, uh, except for the different colorways. This has some weight to it. This definitely, this is a, this is a well-built shoe. I, I've worn these once. They are comfortable as a mother. These joints are, are, are nasty. Um, tell me what you guys think. The star of the show is, of course, the East Side Gulfs. Let's get those bad boys back where they belong in their salty positions. Uh, Bo's a little salty. But guess what, guys? It just reinvigorates my choice that they don't want to give me the shoe. Fuck them. I'll pay as much as I want to pay for the shoes that I want to buy. And then if I don't want to pay that price, because I've had these for months, I'll pay a hundred and whatever bucks and I'll get my shoe. And and uh, again, for me, it's the fashion, man. It's the fashion. I love looking good. I love feeling good. And that's for me. That's really, really for me. It's not for other people. It's for me. But, uh, I mean, other people see you. So maybe it is selfish and personal in that way because it's the way I feel. I don't know. It's, it's, it's different. Hey, you need to check out Jace for Days. She did an interview on me that was amazing. I can't believe that I got chosen to do that. But um, such a small channel, such a... I, I hope I'm being humble. Um, I just like sharing, honestly. I like sharing my passion. And it really, you know, the last part of that outfit is the, is the shoes. Or the first part for, for many. Um, so shoes are super important. And, uh, you know, that's why shoes have always been a part of my life. But again, I started really jumping deep into Jordan again in 2017. Um, I started jumping deep into Air Jordan Fusions again back in 2007. And then prior to that, I mean, growing up in New York City in the 80s and 90s and, the, you know, whatever, my whole life, I was really about buying more outfits, different fits uh, with many kicks. So you bought less expensive shoes that were on sale down at the corner, whatever, sh you know what I mean? Wherever I find, I find shit on sale that I can rock again and again. And then of course, I didn't just rock sneakers. I went through different phases of life. I went through freaking, through hip hop. I went through house. I went through um, every, all kinds of phases, man. I went to ask, you know, there was a, there was a, period of my life people was calling me wall street you know what i mean because i've always wearing a top hat and that was in new york city and then you know it happened again it's it, it, 10 years later i was doing it again when i first started selling cars again but life is cyclical man and and uh, you go back through different styles again and again um anyway this is again the air jordan one low east side golf i think a beautiful shoe um i'm sorry that i got on the mic for so long this is a clean clean shoe i want to thank eastside golf they sent out notifications early and uh, i was able to uh capture a pair for myself and these are definitely definitely clean again thank you guys for hanging out with your uncle bo you guys can find me on instagram at rivera.bo and at bo dominican york and uh if you enjoyed the video and enjoyed my rant Please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and share the video with a friend. Uh, if you want to find out when I drop another one, hit the notifications tab. Uh, and then you'll get notified of the next video, which is typically about two a week. Sometimes I get froggy and do more. Sometimes I do less and take a quick vacay. Uh, I apologize. I have been dealing or working with family uh, concerns and pray for me that I get my dog Gunner home today. So I want to thank you guys again for hanging out with me. Que Dios te bendiga. Peace.